So you don't want Ryan, prep, just in, to in be test clear. prep. And ju there's just one other part to this. We could take people from housing process projects who are caught up in the public assistance system, and we can give these but you people don't want job riots, skills. Right? You job don't want skills. riots, correct, and violence. I just Listen, want to get let me, you on let me the record explain here, something to you. Hawk. Let me explain no, no, something. I just to you. want to get you on the record. You don't want uh, violence. I'm going or on the record right now. right now. I'm going on a, the record right now. Okay. As Dr. King said. Riots are the voice of the unheard. It's a natural uh, occurrence that if I'm just people keep, a simple continue question. to be Do you traumatized or not? and oppressed, they will lash out. That's it. Do you condemn violence they will or not? And, but and, they and, shouldn't and, and lash you, out, correct? Dan, what, what I'm telling you is, right? What I'm telling you is, the Boston Tea Party was a riot. It was because people were fed up. So they took to I'm the I'm not asking about the, the Boston Tea died. Party, Hawk. No, but we're, we're, you, what you're question. talking to me about is... Do you condemn is, and, and, violence and it's amazing that this is Veterans Day, and the first man to die in the, the fight for this country was a black man named Christmas So you won't... Christmas why can't Addict. you just condemn violence? How does this why would why, why would I condemn violence? Why, why would I do that? I believe in self-defense. I believe that if someone no attacks you... No one's talking you, about self-defense. All right, let me make it simple. Forget... Okay. This, clear, this is clearly a little bit over the head here. Do you condemn rioting head? and burning down over buildings? Over whose head? You, you're not answering the question. Do you condemn riots and burning down buildings after a police use of force incident you don't like? No, I, I can. I, what I'll say is I understand when a police officer unjustifiably kills someone, why people lash out. I understand that completely. I didn't ask. I'm not why going can't to, you answer I'm the question? I'm not going to. I'm not going to condemn. You can't answer the question. Nor question. am I going to condone it. Now, now, see, here's the thing. Isn't when that Osama cowardly? Bin Laden, Wasn't that when cowardly? Osama bin Laden and those it, terrorists so attacked the United States of America. Can you let you, me listen, talk? Man. You have a show. You no, talk no, as much you as you want. No, because you seem to talk a lot can of junk. And then when I put you on the spot, you won't answer a damn question. Do you condone violence? I'm answering the question. I'm answering the question. You're all over the place. Well, Just I'm condemn answering the violence question. and burning of buildings down. How hard is this? Okay. So when a, Osama bin Laden attacked the World Trade Center, did you say nah, America should deal You're with it peacefully? You're not answering the question, man. I'm nah, posing questions have, to that you. That is nothing you know, to do your with people burning down businesses in New York City. You're not going to answer the question, Hawk, but listen. Uh, wait. I appreciate okay, I'll give you this. I'll shot. give you this. I'll the, give you this. The, the, not, I don't else condone I it. Three times. I don't promote it, but I will not condemn it. Yeah, that's just cowardly, man. That's just cowardly. No, you're you need a to coward. Stand for something. You yeah. know what? Yeah. You see, I'm you're trying coward, to bait yeah. me. God I'm bless you, yeah. man. I'm out of here. Nope. God bless. Yeah, yeah. You are out of here. You're right. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. I tell you what, man. It's clips like that that make Dan Bongino leaving Fox News such a tragedy. Now, I think there was a lot more going on behind the scenes than the parties are letting on, but we'll let that play out. They fired Tucker Carlson a week later. What does that tell you? They were getting rid of their good hosts. They were getting rid of their America First hosts. They were getting rid of the hosts that would be considered of the right so that they can have just corporate pablum pushed down from above, absolute and total control. That's what many people are saying, especially a lot of the publications that are sourced throughout Fox are saying that this was all about control mechanisms. And they couldn't control Bongino and they couldn't control Tucker. And so those guys got to go. You had too many great clips like that one where a BLM activist uh, got up and walked off set on Bongino's set. You couldn't handle, couldn't take the heat, couldn't handle it because Dan Bongino was asking questions as a cop himself, as a Secret Service agent, as somebody who cares about police and policing, and who understands that what's going to happen when you defund your police is you're going to get Washington, D.C., where my house almost burned down and people were shot on my front step. I have it on my ring camera video. I play it regularly. There was just mass murders on my front step. And then my house was burned down. They weren't attacking me necessarily. It was a gangland fight. They were burning down houses on the block. And my house happened to be burned down in the crossfire. This is what's happening inside of New York right now. Where there are now new people springing up to protest crimes quote unquote, uh, that victimize black people, but they never actually look at the numbers, do they? Nobody ever actually talks about the real numbers, do they? That's what Bongino was trying to get at in that conversation. Like, where are people on the places where you've defunded the police, LA, San Francisco, Chicago, where black on black crime 
is is like astronomical. I mean, astronomical. Out of control. Here you go, baby. I got you the crime statistics from the FBI. Okay? So this is 2016. Uh, this was the first Google result. This is from the FBI, expanded homicide data. Uh, but this is the directly from the FBI's statistics. And these statistics haven't changed. The numbers haven't changed significantly at all. Okay? So what does the data tell us? Well, the data tells us that uh, the in-group crime rate is absolutely astronomical in proportion to the outgroup crime rate, meaning that white people are typically the assailants of other white people and black people are typically the other assailants of other black people. There is not a scourge of race crime in this country. This according to the direct data here from the government. Here's black on black crime here. Here's white on white crime. Here's black on white crime. And here's white on black crime. T teeny, teeny fractions and proportions, specifically when you pull out the percentages of black people and white people in society. America has about 10% black population, like 60 to 70% white population. So these numbers are astronomically small for white on black crime. But you never hear about it. In fact, all you, know, all, all you should be hearing about is black on black crime and wondering why that is. Or white on white crime. And why is that exactly? Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, because these are the communities that people live in. And by the way, this is like highly disproportionate as a number uh, of the percentage of the population. There's like a very high percentage number considering the fact that uh, black people are uh, just 10% of the population, 10 to 12% of the population. So that's, that, those are real questions that you should be asking. But instead, we don't remember the people who were killed, for instance, in the BLM riots. How about black people that were killed in the BLM riots? Black Americans killed across riots in American cities. How about these guys? Am I like the only person online that'll show their faces? These are black Americans, innocent, uh, uh, innocent based on all available data uh, that were killed in the BLM riots. Here are their images. Here's a little bit about their lives. Some of these people, like a, like a, a good example here is like this guy was a real estate broker. He was shot and killed by rioters in Indianapolis. This guy was shot and killed in Louisville. Uh, this is David Dorn. He became quite famous. He was a former police officer in St. Louis. He was shot and killed during the BLM riots. And David Patrick Underwood was killed in Oakland. He was an Uber driver. He was trying to keep the peace. He was fatally shot. Never hear about these guys, do you? No. Never hear about the... This is, it says 25. It's more like 100 people that were killed during the BLM riots. Never hear about that. In fact, they literally go on Dan Bongino's show and praise the rioters. Unbelievable. And they're back at it again. Get out of the cities. It's a death cult, ladies and gentlemen. Get out of the cities. Whew. And get away from these people. Get away from, like, the the mob, essentially, that wants to, like, the, the, the mob that wants to just destroy. Not the way to save America. This is the way to save America, though. This is the way. To talk about these issues uh, and then to talk about how we solve them. It's your boy, Benny. Fight alongside you to save America. Save